Large tornado confirmed on the ground. Let's see, is that it on the right hand side? Let's give it a second here. So hard to make out it. here. There, oh, of, yes. I believe that's moving. That, that looks like it's yes. trying to spin and rotate. This could be the very large tornado on the ground at O'Hare Airport right now. Let's stay with this here. Uh, it's, it sure does look looks like, like it's it. rotating, doesn't it? So on the right hand side of your screen, I don't know if you can put this up behind us right now, but on the right hand side of your screen, you see the dark cloud at the bottom of the ground covering the distance here where you cannot see the lights in the distance. That is probably the large tornado that's being reported on the ground at O'Hare Airport as we speak. So here we are at 945 Monday evening and a large tornado on the ground heading right over O'Hare Airport at this moment. Um, let's just watch this play out. Cheryl, yeah, you this see is it on just the radar. dangerous. I mean, I don't know if we've ever been talking about a large potentially large dangerous tornado on the ground at O'Hare uh, National Weather Service is viewing this from their webcam and they can see that I don't want to confirm that what we're seeing is the tornado Larry I'm not seeing a lot of movement of that one region but in this area uh, the possibility here yes let's give it let's let's look around O'Hare look at take a look at all of our live cameras that we possibly can it is very dark and ominous you're seeing the lightning being detected in this region I tell, it does I look like there's it. something on the right hand side that's kind of because you can yeah. see the motion of the clouds going yes. more. And what uh, happens to too right is that tornado is embedded and you can see those clouds just swirling in that area. Yeah, uh, you might not see a defined tornado. But um, and it could be right there. Look at the look at the bottom it? of the screen there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. You see how the, the clouds got lighter too all of a sudden the, the darkness of the uh, clouds. So and looking for any Boy. debris or anything at the ground level being interrupted. Can we drop the banner at the this. bottom? Yeah, can we drop that? Let's get a full screen view of all this. There we Thank go. Thank you. Okay, yeah, you're right, Cheryl. We're looking at the ground level for debris. That's one of the signatures, one of the things you look at as a storm spotter to see if there's any debris being picked up from the ground. Obviously, there isn't much there uh, if it's out on the uh, runways other than some dirt. There's no trees, obviously. Maybe it's passed on by because it doesn't look as evident as it was a few moments ago. Do you agree, Cheryl and Phil? Uh, yeah, you know, it's hard. It's, it's just, so hard it's to so see dark. in that picture. Um, Another strong tornado likely in pro progress. Um, to, uh, tornado debris signature crossing I-294 right near Crestwood being reported right now as well. Okay, so that's a little farther south. Yeah. south but and for downstream south suburban towns, both strong tornadoes and destructive straight line winds will be possible just south of Alsip to the Will County line. So uh, as we've been talking about up and down this line, as many as 10 tornadoes ongoing at the same time within this complex. Um, what we're seeing right now from O'Hare. I, I tell you, this is more of a just a storm coming in with some high winds, but for the past five minutes or so has been watching this camera, it did look like there was some motion from left to right, which was indicating some spin there, which may have been that tornado that's been spotted up by O'Hare. But regardless, if you're up around the O'Hare area, I, I want you in your safe shelter right now because this is a dangerous storm up at O'Hare and really up and down this line, Cheryl.